Well, hello everybody. Nice to see you here. Welcome to my home, where we streak enter the gungeon to the Lich. We're on a, a streak of 280. 280, episode 112, streak of 280. Rito, that doesn't make sense. How could you possibly? I've been doing this for a long time, my guys, my gals of every age. We're going to roll our D8 to see who we are going to be today. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. I thought that was the pilot. Thought that was the pilot. Usually, these runs can get crazy. and But quite frankly, usually when they get crazy, they get crazy in kind of a similar sort of way. With the space bar effects going AWOL, going out, out the wazoo, you know? You just get a couple of things and they just, uh, you get to use them a lot. And typically, I feel like the pop-off, it comes with, you know, similar items. If we get cigaroons on this guy, we can... Ooh, baby, we can see the world. It can show me the world. Did anyone like Aladdin? The re the uh, the remake, the live action. I ain't talking to anybody like old Aladdin. Everybody, everybody like old Aladdin, right? You know what? Simple question. This is less... Uh, you know, doesn't doesn't have to be a fancy question, and I'm gonna ask it already. I don't care that it's a minute and a half in. We'll probably get more answers that way, anyways. What is your all-time favorite Disney movie? What is your all-time favorite Disney movie, and why? Give me give me a why, since it's such a simple question. I need I need more. I need more. I should know the answer to the question, considering I uh, for myself, considering I'm asking it. Like I. I I, oh my goodness. Oh, Disney. You, they've made a lot of ones. When I was growing up, my favorite one was Fox and the Hound, but I, it's been so long since I've seen it that I don't even remember. Don't even remember what's in it. I just remember uh, it's it's real sad at parts. But wait, one of them doesn't... It ain't like Bambi. Sorry, spoilers for Bambi. Uh, I'm sorry, 2019 spoilers for Bambi. Bambi's mom dies and is jarring. If I remember correctly, does it, like, it, and it doesn't even happen for a long, like, a really big section of the movie. Like, because I, re I remember it being, like, the only thing I remember, and I thought that it happened, like, right away, but don't, it's just, like, it's really, it was really jarring, because then, didn't he, they're like, hey, this is Bambi, this is Bambi's mom, get to know him for a while, and then they kill Bambi's mom, they're like, that's stone cold, that's stone cold, they let you get, get to know like Bambi and how much it's gonna affect like oh my goodness usually Disney would just like nowadays don't they just like throw away the deaths like earlier on to, as kind of character development but not wanting it to be hit you too hard I don't know but I feel like I feel like I always it's in movies you you have that pivotal like oh 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 okay 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 we get this now we can even sell it too uh, like, there's that pivotal part of the movie that you always think is, like, a bigger part of it than it actually is. Like, just because something about it... I mean, obviously for Bambi, that one, that makes sense, like, that that'd be the, the pivotal part that you remember, like, crazy, but... I don't know, there's, sometimes there's, like, really just tiny, tiny things that just fly by in, like, 30 seconds to a minute, and you keep it in your head, and you're like... That was, like big part of the movie but you go back and oh no it's just that was just a throwaway thing they didn't care that was just that was just another part anywho we got the loot bag we'll talk about into the gungeon for just just for a second here i guess we got the loot bag which could be good could be bad i want a gun hey hey does that make sad or passive we should be able to buy a key. 18. No, I thought it was 18. Ah. It's 21. It's I thought it was 18, but it's 21. There. Now you can't take it out of strange context. You goofs. You goofs. This is doing major damage. Oh my god. Like, I, I know that I was sleeping on Pox Cannon for a long time, but they they had to have buffed it too, right? Like it's do it's doing Buku damage. There's no way that I would not like this gun, right? There's no way I would not like this gun if it was in this exact form. No way. Where the hell? And he dead. 
Spread the packs, Pox. And we got big boy money, big boy keys, big boy yes please. And I ain't going to the sewers. Oh, a happy I ain't going to the sewers. We definitely don't need that. We can pop open this bad boy for free. Why don't we? Especially because uh, nice and easy. Why? It just does. It's a one shot Bob? Why on earth? There's no way. I can. I do not accept. Okay, well, we could have had an extra, extra space bar item. Extra, extra, we read all about it. We could get that one. I don't really feel like it, though. Don't need a key. We just don't need a key. All there is to it, who needs it? Boy, oh boy. Only one gun? Like, not a problem, though. Okay, so it already does not one-shot bop the Bulletkin boys. I guess it was like right on the right on the line. Do we want a curse? I want one curse. I want one curse. You never want to get no curse, then you find the the uh, the black market and you're kicking yourself saying, oh, I should have made that deal with the devil. Something something with the the, the fiddle. Is that <laughs> the devil went down to Georgia? That's what, that's what that one, right? The fiddle. I'm not sure. I should know that one. Okay, contact poison? Contact poison. Makes him look crazy, man. Crazy man, my favorite Mega Man robot master. Oh my goodness. Now I want to play Mega Man. I was going to play Mega Man 11 on the channel. I like, there, there's a couple games, like there's just a few games. There's two or three or there's three or four maybe. Oh, that's sad. If that was Junkin, it would be uh, quite exciting. But there's only three or four games that I have literally, like, I've gone as far as to design the thumbnails for. And then ended up not playing. Okay, I couldn't tell if he was going to jump. And Mega Man 11 is one of them. I have the thumbnail for Mega Man 11. But I never, I never played it. I never recorded any. I got the thumbnail for Super Mario RPG. I have the thumbnail for that one. And I have the thumbnail for Spelunky. From that one's way, way old. And since then I've learned to record the rec record the videos before I make the thumbnails. But they're they're floating around somewhere. I probably I probably still have them in my uh, in my files. It might be fun to kind of post them at some point. But, you know, like I I might still play Mega Man 11. The other one, I mean Spelunky maybe but that uh, that thumbnail that one is so old it's in my like my crazy old style it's like not good it's not <laughs> it's not good i don't know like i yeah i've been um i, I started drawing my thumbnails like i i did i put together thumbnails in photoshop from like right from the beginning but i started drawing them probably what like 20 2013 probably 2013 maybe 2014 and it's, I think it's from my 2014 style. I think, I think it's that old. Like, I would literally, like, I would draw it in, I would draw it in Flash. Whoop. Just, like, freehand in Flash with a mouse. I mean, I still use, I, honestly, I still use a mouse. But that's because I use, uh, I use Illustrator, which you can, you can get away with using a mouse a lot easier in Illustrator than in Flash, I think. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Any freaking who? We are almost at complete payday synergy territory, and quite frankly, I think we'll be there any moment. You using my gut? Using my gut because I can't tell. Because he like he flashes. That's the thing. Is he flashes anyways. He flashes because he's taking damage, so you never know. Unbelievable. Maybe he does some little tiny thing with that. Yeah, I had a feeling. You don't oft get the two pieces without, like, really quickly finding the third. Because, yeah, they, they have that, uh, that calls to its brothers. What is that for? It's, uh, something in, in Binding of Isaac. What's that item? What's that item? It, it calls to its brothers or something like that. It's some kind of calls out to Blackhearts or something. Okay, 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 okay. 
if we can get enough for both of those, that actually could be, you know, it could be an exciting combo in a way. Kinda. Kinda. I know I, I, I poop talk full metal jacket with the best of them. But it's not, it's not useless. It's especially not useless if you uh, have benef extra benefits on your blanks. Let's just use our le like legit key there. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, that actually was not great in the end there. Probably should drop our uh, drop a drill. Shoot him in the face, shoot him in the face, shoot him in the face. Only use poison if you shoot him in the face. Oh, we definitely, definitely want to get the uh, copper ammo in. I forgot that we have our little little creature. Little man. No, I don't remember the name of which one that one is in Payday. I don't freaking know. Clowny. Bozo, I think, is his name. Oh, you gotta be... Pulling my chain. I couldn't think of a couldn't think of a, a, a segue from. I'm glad I have a pop filter. Hey, that's fun. That's a fun get. That's a fun get. At least we got enough money to buy what we wanted. The copper amulet. It's gonna be good enough. We get our little blank boy to do his little blank thing. Blank himself with a blue little blank. Hey, they are blue. Blue himself. Cause he ain't got nobody to listen. Nobody ever talks about the real, the real bizarre song on Europop. Like, Blue, it, it's a, it's a, I get it, it's a bop, I love it, don't get me wrong, G growing up, I, I adored it, I listened to it a bajillion thousand times, but Europop, the, the album that has that, from hit Italian group, Eiffel 65, hope. Europop, the album that has another song that I feel like is is just more worthy of memeitude. And it's called My Console, and it is literally about the PlayStation. I've, 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 pl I've talked about this like a, maybe one other time in, in the Gungeon series, but My Console on, on Europop. It is the, the, the starting lines to the song, and I'm not joking. We're gonna play the game, the PlayStation all day, from Metal Gear Solid to Tekken 3. Not Tekken 3, Tekken 3! Because it's it has the rhyme of day. From Metal Gear Solid to Tekken 3. Oh my goodness. What a what a gem. And then the chorus just goes P-L-A-Y-S-T-A-T-I-O-N. And they just like repeat it, repeat it. And they just list a whole bunch of PlayStation games like. Odd world, Gran Turismo. It's like that. It's crazy. It's it's just it's a trip. It's a trip. Please do yourself a favor. Please do yourself a favor. To listen to my console by Eiffel 65 from the hit album Euro Pop. Not a, you can't say it's a hit album when only Blue is the like. Everybody probably just thought that was the only song. Definitely a one-hit wonder band, right? They didn't have uh what. They had another. They had another song. It was uh, "Move Your Body, Every Every Body," and it, yeah, like, I, it sounds like that. I got. If if it doesn't sound good, it's unfortunately it's because I'm uh, you know, maybe hitting it a little too on the nose there. But it, it's like they're not even. They're not bad. They're they're boppy. You know, like they they're catchy. They're catchy, and that's what they're supposed to be. Like, but the lyrics are funny. Move your body, every everybody, and it's like mostly just that for the whole song, I think. I think. But my console has really got some gems of lyrics. That guy's coming in with me. Because it's like, as a kid, I loved that song. As an adult, I do too, but for a different reason. But as a kid, I loved that song, because I was like, yeah, those are all PlayStation games, and like to think about these like middle-aged guys. Same, like, you know, just l <laughs> having the same mentality and excitement as me as a child. It's, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of adorable, right? That they're just that excited about the PlayStation. I'm going to play the game PlayStation all day. Metal Gear Solid to Tekken 3. 
And then I think later on in the song they did list those two. Wait, okay, we could get some curse from that. Actually, would dig it. Get some extra damage just to just to be feisty, you know. Just go spicy with it. Get a little spicy with it. It, it makes more sense to do it later, but quite frankly, I'm a uh, what we like to call in the business a lazy as hell. We haven't answered any Discord questions, have we? Oh, link in the description. And hear me when I say this. If you have any questions you want me to answer in the video, we get a little shout out before it. Like two brain cells, man. <laughs> Who asks? This is, you know what? This is a really basic question that can be. I think we could dive into this deeper, though. If you had one wish, what would it be? And this is, you know, it's it's more straightforward than just like. It's it's more hardcore than even just saying if you had the three wishes. No. no! That's sad. I couldn't get to that chest. There was a chest inside of a chest. Don't you dare say chestception. Because that's the, uh, the the joke. No. We ain't going there. It's about them incepting the thought into them. It just, no. 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 What was I saying? One wish. But yeah, we don't, we, it's, it's more hardcore. We don't get the three wishes. Only get the one. So it really has to be boiled down. Like, and, and I know you could obviously, like, let's rule out my wish is for infinite wishes. My wish is for infinite genius. Let's rule that out because, of course, that's the wish if you can do it. You know, like, of course, that's the wish. That's everybody's wish if it's the answer. You know? No. Not allowed. Not allowed. But I think that... I don't know. Like, I, I, I feel like the... The answer should be something big and like some kind of huge spectacle, something crazy. But I think that like anything and you just, you know, it's very easy to have unseen consequences. Even like the simplest ones, obviously, you know, like you could get some unseen consequences, get some Raven Simone, see the future, try to change it, but end up making a fool of yourself. The future wasn't as bad as you thought it would be kind of a thing. You know what? I'd say probably it's... it's a simple one and it's not like I feel like it's very unlikely to blow up extremely in the face especially with the phrasing I would like to just like get enough I would I know that for the rest of my life I have just enough money to to do basic living things like nothing, like no, no fanciness, no extreme, extremeness. Not gonna, like I don't think it'll go to my head too much. I mean, yes, okay. The, what's the gotcha then? It's like, oh shoot, you, you'll never work for anything if you know that you're guaranteed it or whatever. But I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that, maybe that's a bad one too because of that. Who knows what it would do? But it's just, it'd be nice to not have to think about it. Like I would just. I, I feel like in my head, you, you say in that scenario, you're like, okay, then I would be able to work on the things I want and just like, I would be able to take more, uh, more specific risks with it potentially that could be interesting. Oh, the ability to steal. We do have an extra slot. Like, for example, if I just, if, if tomorrow, if tomorrow Patreon, my Patreon blows up. And it's like, it's got enough for me to live completely. It, I'd be really excited. I feel like I could take that and, you know, maybe do some kind of uh, weird things. Like like I was saying, like, if, uh, I think I was even talking about it in the last episode. We're talking about it a lot. I'm not trying to s sell out, guys. There's just a lot of these questions are, are relevant to it. Uh, but it'd be fun to do, like, highlight stuff. And it, I thought it'd be fun, you know, it'd be fun at a certain, a certain level, like, to do... Like a podcast to do, just like to, to branch out a little extra with these things where I can't, you know, I, I, I got to stick to some, you know, some basics because of constraints on, on time and money and be just realistic uses of time and everything like that. So in the scenario where money was not a factor, would I, I in my head, I would be, and, and it's like, it's easy to say now, in my head, I'd be like, okay, now we could to really try things out 
right? And uh, maybe I feel like that alone would be a worthy wish to like just not have to think about that aspect of of things, which I think could you know be great. And I but I wouldn't want. I'm not like I want a million dollars. I don't want. I don't want anything major. You know, like I want somewhere to live. I want to make sure I can eat. I'd like to get like maybe new games that come out so I can show them off and like that's mostly it like maybe every once in a while I'd like you know like I'd like to take the money go somewhere go somewhere fun but that's like I don't need to do that very often I don't, I don't like traveling that much I just yeah I, I definitely my wish is definitely not for a million dollars or anything like that it's just It'd, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to not have to think about it. And that's it. That's it. Down. Uh, oh, God. Did I mess it up? I think I messed it up. I didn't mess it up. I always feel like I messed it up. The other thing I'd like to do if I... If I came into a bajillion dollars... Like, if I came... If, if I did blow like up monetarily... Not because of... The, I mean, maybe because of the channel or something like that. But uh, just if I did win a bunch of money or something I've always wanted to do and this is sound like oh my god you made such a mistake by holding on to the bag still this sound like a cop-out type thing like oh sure sure that's what you want but like I wouldn't want to do a like a cat and dog rescue just something like that always it just it seems like it'd be so fulfilling oh my god all the money is going away it just would be so fulfilling I think it's something I've always, you know, I've always been, always been super, super into, into animals, obviously, like, as a child. Of course I love my pets, but, like, I feel like I was, I don't know. Like, I was closer to my pets than most people, you know? Ooh, we do lose one of our familiars. I feel like it's a worthy trade. I feel like it's a worthy trade. I wish this fire would go away. See, there we go. We would have lost some money there. Not as a big deal, because we are... Quite frankly, swimming it. We don't have to worry about it in Gungeon right now, that's for sure. You can open up that dog and cat rescue like no other. But yeah, that's that's something I've always been uh, into if I came into like a crazy amount of money. So I, I guess like... I'd be worried about having that be my wish though that I would get enough money to do that. I'd be worried that it would have some kind of backfiring consequences, you know? I, I feel like coming into that amount of money, like, who knows what happens. You always hear the stories about, like, people's families, like, imploding. Like, pe the way that how much money you have, like, changes everything, everything like that. So, who knows? I don't know that I want that. I'd be, I'd be scared. I'd feel like just my wish would be enough money to live, and then I would hopefully, hopefully work my way up to a situation where I could, you know, helpfully get that. Can you cheese the question and say, I want to have... A million dollars, but not have any negative effects. I feel like that's very cheating. But I guess it's if it's a wish, you know. There we go. That that could be the wish. But then it's like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Money's crazy. Who does crazy things to people? Who? We dodging, we dodging, focusing up, focusing up. We got hit in the first. Stop it with that. Okay, we're gonna wait. Cool. Backup gun. That's usually a recipe for a good time, right there. Stop it. Do something I can parry. Thank you. Easiest thing to parry. You really letting me have it. Dark marker. Yikes, man. I, I don't know. I, I'm still on the fence about Dark Marker, too. I like it in a way. Like, obviously, I get it. Yeah, the full charge is very, very good. Don't get me wrong. Oh, Ring of Tree. Oh, uh-oh. 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 Honestly, the best thing to get rid of would maybe be... The Drill... I don't think we need to steal. I don't think we need to steal. So I'm going to do this. 
because and we're gonna go down we're gonna pick up the rat sack and we're gonna pick up all of it we're going crazy today because we got the ring of freaking triggers so uh we are gonna blow up the screen my guys my gals my Rito pals yeah i knew one of you would be it i knew it put it out now we have to worry about the explosives on the ground Gonna be all kinds of item cycling. I'm just gonna cycle through and like use them all in the rooms. Just might as well be the rat. I never be the rat. I never be the rat you want to see in the world. Eat these. Why? Why don't you want this one too far? Too far for you, huh? Honestly, let's just get rid of the Winchester. Come with me! That's right. That's right. We had junk. And I would rather get rid of the Winchester. The, the, the junk still could come in handy. We might get junk in. The Winchester's never gonna come in handy. I'm not gonna use it at this point. Next Discord question, Dylan K asks, How are you? Thank you for asking. I am, uh... Today, I'm doing... I'm doing mostly good. You know? I, uh, I'm, oh, uh-oh. Why'd that happen? I'm doing, I'm doing mostly good, you know? Not, not doing perfect every day, and that's fine. Like, uh, week's been generally good. When, I know that the week's been better than the, the week prior, and that's always a good situation, you know? Can't, can't complain if your week is better than the, than the last week, and then you're on an upward trend. You're doing it. You're absolutely doing it. I'm proud of you. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, med medical things are slowly dissipating in, in a, an exciting way. And it's that's just, that's nice. Of course, that's that's very exciting. Because uh, it's, it's always annoying when they, uh, when something like that, something you can't control impedes on your daily life. It's, uh, it's yikes. It's bad. So things that kind of stuff has been getting slowly better. So you know, mentally getting sli like slightly better as well with that. Then, Hoop. oh man, we never picked up the loot bag again. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. It's okay though. We don't really doesn't really matter actually. Honestly, the ring of triggers is kind of bad with that one. Oh. <laughs> that is going to be terrifying if that works how I think it might. Frickin' cash. I mean, it's a little bit late for that. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hit the road, Jack. It does not work how I thought. Which is probably good. Honestly, we don't have anything that's crazy good with the Ring of Triggers. Hook. But we got the butt gun too, doing its thing, and gonna be shooting out poison and everything from every which way but uh, but north. Get in there with the nope. The cluster mine's not charged up. We need some coolness. Uh, we need some freaking coolness. But Rito, you already have the coolness, maximum coolness. Thank you so much, cool radical. Thank you. Or is it is it is it radical or is it rad? Cool. Rad. I can't remember. Noise. I know noise is one of them, that's for sure. Hook. Cool. Noise. But I want to pop up in there. Get him with the golden gun. I feel like the golden gun is our go to gun with our ring of triggers at the moment. Brow, brow. But it also, you know, we use the. Stinking cluster mines is actually kind of a scary thing. They spooky. Because I feel like they do contact. They don't do contact. They do explosive damage that contacts us as well. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Does he do butt shots? He does butt shots too. Look at that. What about this? Oh, man. Wait, 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 wait. Next room, next, we'll save for the next room. Save for the next room. I want to see how many darn things, okay, next room. All right. 
Fantastic. We don't have any flight. We do have the ability to <laughs> do that. What about... Ooh! Hello? What? That works? It's so worth the health just to see this insanity. What on earth? I had no... Oh, okay. I had no idea that that worked. That is a hack, my guys. Wow! All right. Uh, yep. 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 Mmm. Yep. That's gonna be a. Ooh, that's gonna be our gun for the run. I. I think. Something tells me it just might be the one. Prototype. Her railgun is probably one of the best. Probably one of the best possible things you can get with ring of triggers. Wow. Why, Rito? What 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 is it about it that makes it stand out? Oh, you know. It's the eye killing, the eye killing slasher. If we do it now, is it gonna make it all the way up there? Only one made it. Obviously, it's a bad gun and everything. Then, if it doesn't make it all the way up there, it's a bad gun. It's garbage. I still like can't believe that. Frozen heart. Oh, do we have another space bar slot? We do. We do! Ah, yes! Here's the thing, though. We definitely, um... Oh, my God. We definitely can't uh, get the maximum effect... Uh-oh. Uh, what? Effect of it like you would think. We can't just spam, spam, spam. We have to wait quite a bit before we can do it again. The good news is we have two types of invincibility now. If we get, like, Potion of Lead Skin, too, on top of all this, that's gonna be quite exciting. What's the... What the hell? Should we just get rid of Drill at this point? Like... Wait, Melted Rock... You you don't even need to, oh my god you don't even, you don't even need oh my god i thought that there had to be corpses in the room to make melted rock do its thing you don't even need it melted rock oh my god dylan k i'm doing great <laughs> i'm doing great by the way three two one Burr. We got cluster mines too. Okay, <laughs> gonna do more damage to ourselves than anything else. Oh, we. Whoop. Get switch to our. This is a lot of active item switching we gotta mess with, or we could just stay on the melted rock and just blow things up like this. Which may be the best idea technically. We can also switch around, make sure we're using our. Invincibility, just normally, and then we can switch in the room, use a melted rock when we want to definitely, definitely get the blow up. <clears throat> like on the second that we can. Boo! Okay, okay. Why not? Oh my god, Omega Bullets. Omega Bullets. Plus this. We have the ability to steal, don't we? Might as well. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. And then we can buy the rocket power bullets. Even more damage. <clears throat> oh my god. So it does like 80. What? 80? Is it 80% extra damage? Because of Omega? And then something like another. Uh, oh, whoop. Another 10 15 because of rocket. Why'd I do it? Why'd I do it? Just making it harder for myself. See, look at that. Even with the shadow clone we got, it's already crazy. This run is so stupid good. Stupid good. Can't see any of it, but I know it's stupid good. Okay. 
right. I wonder what the timer is for Ring of Triggers. It's probably like three seconds or something. Six seconds? Oh. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, I'll hold. This is so strong. Even without switching our dang items like every once in a while. Switch to the uh, the invincibility things, just for the hell of it. Grab that, go to the next room with the melted rock. Yada yada. Bonk. It's obviously bad though, because it doesn't kill the second phase. Whoop. Even, it's just, it's crazy, even with this, it's so crazy. I cannot believe it. This run, oh, now we gotta run, hell yeah. Now we gotta run. The shot bow up in here. Alright, let's get back to our gun. <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm gonna let you live for a moment. Oh! My god! That was like literally a moment. When I pressed the button, he actually just straight up was deceased. Literally as I pressed the button. It's like it was the bracket key. But even worse. Like, even scarier. Can't see the laser. Oh, you kidding me? It's another way to keep myself alive. I mean, it's not a good one. This is maybe like the craziest pilot run I've ever seen in my young adult life. Like, this may be the strongest run. Like, I think it might have to be. I feel like I've had the most OP run before but I think this may now actually be my new most overpowered run ever it's got all the fixins you know it's got everything everything you need oh if only the boss damage cap was not a thing hook oh. We might get hit somewhere in this mess. And that's fine. Okay, we want those out. It's actually kind of nice to have those out. We can charge up our spacebar items quicker. Wow. Now on to Advanced Dragoon. Fortune's Favor. I don't trust you, Fortune's Favor. Every time I use this item, I get hit. Every single time. Every single time. I've never used that item and not gotten hit, I swear. It's crazy, man. Boop. Boop. Get right up in there, do it. Sure. Yeah, they were gone. They were gone before they showed up. We even... Oh, we turned that one into a little skull boy. Little arrowhead man. Hoop. Yeah, this is the ultimate showing of the boss damage cap. Ultimate showing. Hoop. Yeah, look how little his health goes down. It's crazy. It's like I'm having a hard time just cycling my items to figure out where I'm what I'm supposed to maybe be doing. I think I got hit there? I think I got hit there? I'm not sure. This is like this Is it can you say it's the strongest run, I guess, if you also are like taking a lot of damage because you can't see anything? Is it that strong, bro? Hmm. 
Bye bye, boy. See you in health. Got all kinds of health sitting around. Point, point, point. And bonk. And I'm out. Mr. Lich. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Mr. Lich. Speaking of Mr. Lich, let's answer another Discord question relating to the Lich. I saw I saw the name Lich there. What do we Ladder to ELO Heaven asks, which do you think is more difficult, the double Lich fight from Gunslinger's Pass or the normal Lich fight with three phases? I actually think that the regular Lich is more difficult. I, I do. And, and just like, just the, having the three separate phases with three separate boss damage caps versus, I don't know, like if you have a, I, I feel like when you make it to the Lich, you probably have a run that's at the boss damage cap. Like, the fight would be over it so quick. It would take just as long as beating one phase today, you know? Like, if you think about that. It would just take just as long as beating one phase, because they have separate boss damage cap, you know, health bar things, you know, whatever. It's, uh, it just be, would, would be done the same amount of time that it would take to fight one. Yesterday is, like, a bit extra, obviously. Like, there's a little bit more going on today than a normal run. But I feel like a lot of runs are that way, though. Like, where you're at the boss damage cap by the time you get to the Lich. Most, I feel like a lot of them are. Or you have a weapon that will be. You know. Hoo yep. Badoo. So, I think, yeah, I don't know. I think that just having the three separate health bars, it just takes longer, you know, too. More, more room for mistakes. Where, like, I, I, I'd say most runs. Most runs, I think I would have an easier time with the, the double lich. Most times. But yeah, it's kind of funny because you see, like, if, if it was, if you had to fight all three glitch liches in a row, yeah, that one's that's harder. That's the harder thing, of course. But since you don't, it's easier. It's easier. Really? There you go. I don't want to use any of my items. When do we get this synergy? Melted Rock. Melted Rock. That's right. Fill that bad boy up. But yeah, like, on a normal run, I'd be super excited just to have Shadow Clone and Railgun. And Backup Gun. Like, that's already a crazy... That's already crazy. That's already too much. I already feel guilty about having that, you know? Oh. Boink. Why even bother? Why even bother? If it's junkin though. Okay. If it was junkin, that thing I said earlier would have been it. Psychic. Okay. Right. Fill it up more. Fill me up. Rail gun. Surprisingly, this doesn't hurt my eyes. Like, a lot of things do. This one, this run is not actually hurting my eye. Oh, of course you ran out just then. This one's not actually hurting my eyes. I think it's just because it's not like a, a full flat flash. Name of my band, by the way. Whoop. Fail. All right, two shadow clones out on the field. Mixed with all that, another Shadow Clone. Yeah, we're getting a little, like, we're getting a little bit of stuttering. Just using the darn item like normal. Did we get hit there? We did get hit in there. I couldn't, it's just, you can't tell. Tell me, tell me you can dodge. Tell me you can dodge in the middle of that. I will not. Yeah, show me someone who can dodge in the middle of that, and I will show you a liar. And 
Welcome to the world. Oh, look at him. That, that looks sick as hell. Do you see that? His head just poking out of the ethereal sea of beams. Yeah, there's like five things going on that on their own would be a crazy run. Hey, we didn't hit. We didn't get hit. What a world. What a wonderful world. Boink him, bonk him. Uh, I dodged. I dodged. I went off the edge, but I dodged. <laughs> press all the buttons. Press all the buttons. I feel like we could just stand here and just match space bar. And we would eventually just be fine. Wow. 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 The new most OP run I've ever had. I had that other one just so recently. I, I feel crazy saying it, but I think this may be the new most OP run I've ever had. Like, I always dream of it. Like, the Ring of Triggers prototype railgun, or pro, not, pro, not prototype, just regular railgun. That's the dream. Slap backup gun. Uh, Omega bullets, plus one bullets, rocket bullets, all that on there. Ring of triggers mixed with five active items, including one that can activate whenever I want, and three of them being types of invincibility. Uh, yikes, man. That's a pretty strong run. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos, and thank you to my supporter on the Patreon, Go Team Gungeon Tier, Ounsu. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Ounsu. If you want to join the Go Team Gungeon Tier, you can check out the Patreon.com slash Regimation. Link in the description for stuff like that. Follow on twitch.tv slash Regimation. Catch me streaming games live style. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.